the opening of the new school term and what are some of the concerns that uh, primary schools have? We have joining us this morning uh, the president of the National Primary School Principals Association, Mr. Lance Motley. He is here with us this morning to, to talk to us a little bit about what is happening. The school term has started today. Uh, good morning. Welcome. How do you see things going this term? Good morning to you, Rishi, and Happy New Year to you, Thank to your you. staff, and to your viewers. And let me also say Happy New Year as well to um, my constituents, which will be primary school <laughs> principals. <laughs> Primary school principals, and uh, as well as to all our students who are returning to school today, and our teachers. Lots. Uh, I mean, I'm here to talk about what's going to be happening for us as as, yes. as for uh, principals, primary school principals in particular. And I'm happy to share that with the national public. We have this is going to be a bumper year for us at NAPSPA. NAPSPA, of course, is the acronym for our association. Uh, we have a number of initiatives planned, plenty pl um, projects planned for this year, but there are two particular initiatives that I'm really, really thrilled about, Rishi. Um, looking forward to it is going to be um, uh, history in the making here in Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean. One in particular is our uh, Principal of the Year Award, um, that's Primary School Principals of the Year Award. We are hoping for that to come off uh, uh, during the month of the, the, the teacher, which is in October, mm -hmm. right? It's similar to the Teacher of the Year Award, which is also done, which is done by tutor. But we are hoping that we're going to have a Principal of the Year Award. Principals work hard. Um, You're a principal yourself. I'm a principal myself. I don't know, know if people sense any bias there. You yeah, know, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, little bias, you know. But yeah, principals do work hard to move their schools from the, the, the present state status to the next level. Mm -hmm. And of course, we need to recognize that. We need to recognize the efforts of principals. So that's one of the big initiatives for us. Uh, let me also take, let me take the opportunity to ask Corporate Trinidad and Tobago, you can <laughs> jump on board. You can jump on board. We are looking for sponsors for this project. But the other one that we are um, looking forward to as well is the formation of a regional primary school principals association. Now that is big. Um, and we are currently in talks with our regional partners to mm -hmm. ensure that that project does in fact come off. And I can tell you um, that if in that project does come off, that uh, Trinidad and Tobago will be the chair. So we'll be the first, it will be that's, that's why it's gonna be history, um, history making, because we're gonna be the first uh, to hold the chair of that regional body. But how is this going to benefit us? If that initiative uh, comes well, of that. course, it's it's about sharing b best practices. Um, um, we all don't individually hold the, the 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 answer to all of the solutions. So when we when we collaborate, we can we can share our best practices and really hone in um, on the skill sets that are needed to make our schools better. And and how long do we have to wait for something like this to happen? Well, this is it. So this may actually, uh, the, the, the talks are ongoing, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I think that for 2020, if I'm not mistaken, is when this regional body, that's, that's the projected um, time for that to happen. And that's just next year? That's just next it's year. It's a lot of work to do. It's a lot of work to do. A lot of talks um, must take place before that happens. Yeah. All right, so I just want to get back to the opening of the new school yes. room today. Um, what were some of the issues that primary school principals would have faced, um, and have these issues been sorted out, if any at all? Well, uh, coming coming at the ending of the term, I'm not too sure if, if, if you are familiar. The ending of the term, actually during the, the uh, holidays, we, we spoke to the national community. Yes. Um, we met with, uh, we, we met, we, uh, we had a joint press conference with the NPT. And let me say that we are forging or s deepening our links with our stakeholders. And one of our main stakeholders is the NPT, the National Primary School, um, the National Parent Teachers Teacher Association. Association. Uh, and that issue had to do with the pickup and drop off of and students. drop off mm -hmm. of students, or rather drop up and drop off and pick up of students, of children of the of of, pa of children. Um, some parents drop their children off too early, and uh, they pick up their children too late. Now we understand that parents must get to get to work. We understand that we we are in an in an organized society, um, but however, principals and teachers are also parents as well. Uh, and we have uh, we have we have working. So hours. where has that discussion gone? Well, so far y y the NPTA, uh, which is a national Parent body, yeah. um, understands our plight as as as, as educators as, as educators and and the kinds of legal implications that that present for us. Um, so they 
are talking with their members to to to, to ensure that you know we we are working together of course I don't want to give out any particular time when parents should drop off their children, yeah. but it should be contextual so that uh, parents need to understand, need to speak with their schools, their, their principals, and, and find out what is the best time w uh, we can drop off our children, and of course, what is the best time to pick up our, ch our, our, our children. School starts at 8.30, mm -hmm. primary schools, yeah. and uh, finishes uh, at 3 o'clock. So we, of course, we prefer that children be dropped off as close as possible to the start of school and picked up as close as possible to the end of school. We should there's a, a serious implication here, uh, and that is the safety and security of our nation's children, and that is what we are concerned about. If you drop off your children too early, there will be no, there will be little or no supervision, and if you pick them up too late, there could also be little or no yeah. supervision. Yeah. So these are things that I'm I'm hoping that we'd hear more about uh, later on. Yes. Uh, would pr primary schools open all set? All. Primary schools, uh, the word is that all primary schools are open today. I know that there are some, some, still, some repair works still ongoing in a number of schools, but I have been given the assurance from uh, the MTS, which is charged with the responsibility of the school vacation uh, repair program mm -hmm. during the Christmas period. I have been given the assurance that those schools that uh, have not yet been completed and those schools that have not yet been started, that work will continue uh, during hours that uh, will will uh, that will not disrupt the normal flow of school, and hopefully students uh, have fun today at school. It is the first day back after the Christmas vacation. Mr. Lance Mutley, uh, president of the National Primary School Principals Association, thank you very much for coming on this morning and chatting with us.